Hello, my name is Oliver Schmidt and today I want to show you the new WGET program that I have created for the Apple II. WGET programs are for downloading files from HTTP servers and storing them locally on disk. About every HTTP server you'll be able to find is way faster than your Apple II. Therefore, the download speed needs to be controlled by the Apple II. You need flow control. Uh, and TCP IP offers these flow control mechanisms, but they are pretty complex. Therefore, it's nice that the Ethernet 2 card comes with its own TCP IP stack that includes, of course, flow control. And therefore, the WGET program makes use of the TCP IP stack of the Ethernet 2 card. Additionally, the WGET program does not only allow to store files on the Protos file system, uh, but additionally it allows to store the download directly on a Protos available disk. So you can download disk images and write them directly onto, for example, a floppy disk. Uh, so let's get started. Um, and usually URLs from real servers on the net are lengthy and I don't want to enter such lengthy URL in the WGET Pro, which would be possible of course. Rather, I'm going to use the already existing Contiki web browser and find myself the file that I want to download and then go over to the WGET program. So let's get started. Okay, here's the web browser and it comes with mouse support. Okay, here we go. And I'm interested in the Asimov archive. And there I'm interested in a disk image. And again, and maybe an action game, and it's not that much fun to scroll to long pages with a Contiki web browser, so for the purpose of this demonstration I'm using one of the first ones here. And you see I have several 140k uh, disk images and I'm just using that one here. Okay, now you see the web browser understands that this is not another web page but something different and it offers me to download that which is bringing up the new WGET program that I was talking about. As mentioned, the URL is already provided and I'm asked what to do with the download. I have support for autocompletion like you have on a modern Linux shell. Just putting the tab key gives me for example the name coming from the URL or maybe uh, I'm just interested in overwriting some file that is already there. Um, if I start with a slash I'm provided with the names of the volumes available to me. And I could, for example, start to provide here the name as an absolute path. Anyhow, nothing is what I want of that. Rather, I want to write directly to a disk. This is done via this character. And again, with auto-completion, I'm being able to browse the drives that are available. Okay, and here we go. It has understood that this is going to be a DOS sector image, and if you now see and listen, the download is happening with that, what you would consider the usual speed 
of a disk 2 drive. So the actual download time is not relevant at all. It's all about writing the data to the disk. Okay, this was successful. And I'm trying to see if that actually works. Just booting up the disk that I just downloaded. And here we go. Okay, everything seems to be fine. The game has booted and come up. Thanks for watching.